Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Pata, man. Back another video today on the channel. Today, we have a big video, special video. Today, I'm going to give you guys the best MSP cards from every single event so far in NHL 25. Hopefully, again, I don't, I don't know. I don't really check. I don't really watch other YouTubers. I'm going to be honest. But I hope that I'm the first one in the NHL community to make this video. Now, the thing is, I wanted to make the best off the charts MSP video, but I was just too late. You know what it is, man. I apologize. Been, you know, focused on school a little bit, but we're back with the videos. Uh, have a video today. We'll have a video coming out tomorrow for the content, and then Wednesday is going to be Team of the Week. And then we'll have another video coming out Thursday, and then Friday, the new event. So if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, I would appreciate, you know, like, you know, subscribing to the channel. You know, drop a like, supports me. And just, you know, you guys know, if you guys are new, turn the notification bell on. Don't miss a video. But. Let's get right in this video. So we got, uh, I think, three different events. I'm not going to have any fantasy hockey players in this video, by the way, just because it's only going to be MSP events, not the fantasy hockey players. So uh, I think the only events we've had so far, I'm trying to look. I think the only events we've had is cover athletes, supernatural, and off the chart. So from these three events, I'm going to pick three. I think I'm going to pick three of the best MSP cards or two, depending on what event it is. So we'll start off with Cover Athlete. From the Cover Athlete, this is such an interesting event because this was the first event that we had in NHL 25. And I use Steven Stamkos. He's on my team. And I think he's the one of the best MSP cars I've used this year so far. He is an 85 overall, though, compared to the newer MSPs, for example, off the charts. I think off the charts, highest rate MSP are 86s. But I mean, you can't build this card anymore, so that's the thing with this video. This video is meant for people that want to go buy an MSP with their coins, all right? You can't build any of these MSPs, I'm pretty sure. I'll check at the end of the video, but for right now, um, don't quote me on this, but I'm like 99% sure that you cannot build previous MSPs. You have to buy them. So um, if you have the coins, I would definitely go ahead and buy Steven Stamkos. His price should be starting to drop a little bit more now because of you know the new events and stuff, but... He's still one of the best cards I've used this year. Uh, 85 face-offs. He's got a good face-off dot. Um, even when better centermen start to come into the game, he's a perfect card to go put on the wing. He's got 89, 90, 89, 89 for his shot. He's got really good offensive awareness. Again, I'm not a big fan of the endurance this year. Speed 87, uh, 90 agility is, is not bad, but uh, I do like the born leader ability. The reason why I like this ability so much is because... If you're playing um, squad battles, and I'm, I'm not, like this is not even like for online gameplay, more offline gameplay, I like it because let's say you're trying to complete the objectives, right? And you need to go play squad battles to get like 35, you know, backhanded shots, or you know what, like you know what I'm talking about, right? And sometimes your players get tired. This guy right here, you can put like for example, if I, if you want to complete off the charts MSP um, objectives, and you only have two of those objectives, and they get tired quick. Put Steven Stamkos out there and just try to score with Stamkos. They get boosted energy for everything. I think this is such a good ability to, you know, farm objectives and stuff like that. Even online, it's a good ability because you get um, all the energy boost back. Especially with players having low endurance this year. I think it's very important to, you know, not... Like, let's be real. Most cards have low endurance. This helps that, um, which I've noticed that in my gameplay. But overall, it's a very, very good card. He's got a very nice shot. I can't lie, he's he's just, this is a very good uh, right-handed winger in the game. And this was the first event too, by the way. The best MSP card from Cover Athletes is Kill McCarr. I still think he's one of the best defensemen in the game to this day. Even with three events passing by, like, um, I think Kill McCarr is still one of the best defensemen in the game. I've always, like, every time I'm breaking down a right-handed defenseman, I always compare them to Cover Athlete Kill McCarr. And to me, he's just so fast. Like, elite edges on it, on this card is nasty. Uh, he's got a good shot, speed stats, one of the best skating defensemen in the game. Like, be honest, guys, what the better right-handed D-man is better than Kill McCarr? Like, yeah, we got a couple options like Kill, uh, not Kill, Eric Carlson, PK Subban, but I still think those cars are not better than Kill McCarr. And this is, to me, the best cover athlete MSP. But honestly, I think he might be one of the best MSPs um, to have. Period. Like, I like, like I think he's one of the best MSP cards from every single event. I would have him probably like in my top five, but he's a very, very good MSP card. All right, guys. Number three on this video is going to be the uh, Timu Solani card that just released off the charts. Again, I don't have this card. I did not build him. I built Patrick Kane instead just because, you know, I'm a Hawks fan. But, I mean, just looking at the stats, 
He's easily the best MSP for week two off the charts, but he's one of the best MSPs in the game just because I like the speed, I like the acceleration, I like the agility. He's got a very, very good shot. Um, he's, a, again, another right-handed player. There's not that many good right-handed wingers. I think we have, obviously, Steven Stamkos in this video. We've got uh, Timo Slani now, and then I think we've got Artemi Panarin, the free card, if you, could, if you got that free card. Those, to me, are like one of the three best right-handed uh, wingers in the game. Everyone else is kind of hard to find a good right-handed right winger. They're all There's Jack Eichel as well, the, the um, X-Factor Eichel that you get at the end of uh, XP progression path. But I think Timo Slide's a decent uh, MSP. I've been kind of looking. I was not going to have him on this video until like I've been seeing other people use him in Rivals and stuff. And he's, he's pretty fast, and he's got a good shot, and he's got wheels. So he's going to be number three on this video. One of my biggest regrets was not being able to build this card, Yama Yager, 85 Supernatural player, because I actually think he is one of the best MSP cards um, to come out in terms of just, like, pure force, right? Like, he's got 91, 92, 91, 92, respect, respectfully for his shooting category. Um, he's not he's not the fastest player, right? He's 6'3", but he doesn't have anything so flashy. Like, 86 speed's decent. As, you know, we've got so many higher skating players in the game. 82 endurance is whatever. Acceleration is not the best. You know, skating stats is kind of like a 3.5 out of 5, but everything else is perfect to me. 89 strength, 83 body checking, and he's got gold unstoppable force. I think this is actually a very underrated MSP card in the game. And I think he's one of the best MSPs just because he's got a good ability. He's got great strength on him, good shot. Uh, put him on that wing. He, he's going to be able to shoot pucks. I, I like this card a lot, and I wish I could have built him because I feel like from the week two supernatural cards, there was not a single one that was better than Yammer Yager. Like I'm, like I don't think Tage Thompson. What, like, let's be real. I like Tage Thompson, but the endurance is too low for for my liking. And I just think you don't want to have a team full of slow players, right? I think with that event we had Dzeno Chara, we had you know Tage Thompson. I don't think it was smart to like to not build Yager. I think Yager was one of the best MSPs in the game. I still think like if you like i know a lot of people that have this card tell me that this card's very very good for them and i regret not building this card but he's definitely beyond this best msp video no 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 way i'm taking him out now nathan mckinnon he's not gonna be on my video i just want to have him as like an honorable mention because i do think this is a very good card but i would say i would rather go by his base card i think like that's the that's my biggest thing is like i think his base card is cheaper anyways but I do think this is a very good MSP card, but he's just going to be an honorable mention. I don't want to have him on the list. I just had to bring that up because I know someone's going to ask me in the comment section. The reason why McKinnon is not on this list is because he's already got a base card that I think it's not equally better, but just cheaper to get. And it makes more sense to go with the base card versus his MSP. So we're getting into the good stuff now. I got Sidney Crosby at number two. Um, I'm going to keep it a stack with you guys. I think this is one of the best MSP cards in the game. And I feel like a lot of people don't have this card or didn't build this card because other people told him not to get it i have crosby and i'll be honest with you guys he is a very good center build to have in the game 88 face-offs is a must 88 defensive awareness 86 strength on him he's got again a very good shot 86 86 87 and then 86 respectfully for the shooting category um, he's got good acceleration good agility on him good speed endurance is a little bit low but he's a centerman so he's not going to be on the wing so you don't need to have like all like the speed stats like 88 speed with the acceleration is very very good for Sidney crosby and i think that he can keep up with other players the biggest thing i like about this card is the versatility with it right like with a lot of winger cards you have you get winger cards because they got good speed and a good shot right and then as the year progresses on, in each coming weeks, there's always an MSP that can take that card off the top ranking video. So with Sidney Crosby, I think he's always going to be on your team until like maybe like January or something. And, and then because especially with the way the economy is working in NHL right now, it is very difficult to get a good team. It is very difficult to get good players just because there's not that many rewards in terms of pack. So really... The only way you're getting good players on your team is if number one you're just extremely lucky and you're pulling insane players every like th every time you get those like weak packs, or if you go ahead and build your MSP card. So that's the thing about these cards: it, it, the MSP market is always going to be high. Of course, that's why that's the biggest reason why I built Sidney Crosby is because I know that he is going to be on my team for a very long time because EA is just not going to have four insane centers in each event. Right? Like, I guarantee you this Sidney Crosby will be the best center build for at least the next two events. Even I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say until team of the year. 
like debatably, Cindy Crosby might like he's just he's got every stat you want from him. He's got the face off that you need, right? You know, he's a good defensive car, won't get knocked off the puck. He's got a respectable shot. Uh, again, it's not the high 90s like the other MSPs, but in comparison to what he brings on the face-offs and everything else, he's got a respectful shot, and I like his speed as well, and he's got born leader to me. If you don't get Stamkos, this is the next card you should be getting. In fact, I think you should probably get this card because you can get him right now. Actually, never mind. This was the week one M uh, MSP, so I'll take that back. But still, you can go ahead and buy this card. I think, I don't know, I think this is a really good card. I have him on my team. I've been using him in Rivals and Squad Battles. I mean, Squad Battles doesn't really count. But still, I like what he brings to the table, all right? He's, to me, the best, one of the best MSP center cards in the game. Like Jay Bullmeister again, I'm going to make this very, very short. If you guys watched my best Week 2 MSP video, this is a no-brainer. Uh, Jay Bullmeister, to me, just a little quick rundown. Great shot on him for defenseman. He's got one of the best skating stats as a left-handed demon. There's not that many left-handed good uh, left-handed demon in the game that are that good. Um, I think that this is one of the better MSP cards in the game. I like defensive defenseman. He's got gold shutdown on him. He has everything you want for a defenseman. And just like Sidney Crosby, he is this card is going to be on your team for a very long time. He can be your third pairing defenseman, even if like even if EA like in December there's like a bunch of new left-handed D-man cards. I de severely doubt. That Jay Bowmeister is going to be out of your lineup unless you have like a lineup full of fantasy hockey players. Other than that, Jay Bowmeister should be on your defensive unit for a very long time. Um, even as your third pairing defenseman, this is a very good card, and I think it's worth the investment if you're looking for a solid left handed D man. He's 6'4, won't get knocked off the puck, can lay off defensemen, can shoot the puck well, and can skate well. He's literally the best. In terms of skating, shot, checking, and defensive stats all into one, he's the best versatile MSP defenseman in the game, in my opinion. Because he, he there's not a single flaw in this card. He brings everything. I don't have him upgraded either. I have him, like, I think I'm missing a, a couple objectives to fully get him to the max of 86. I've been using him at an 84, and I feel like he's a solid card. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up this video today. This is the best current MSPs from every single event. Now, I'm thinking of making a... Like kind of like a power ranking MSP style video. So the, before I know if this video, if this is if you guys want this, let me know in the comment section if this is a good idea. If it's not a good idea, we won't do it. But I was thinking of every time a new MSP comes out, I'm gonna have the community vote of uh, the top five, the top ten best MSP cards to use in the game, right? And then each week a new a new MSP comes out. You guys gonna vote and then it's gonna be like a power ranking you guys know how power rankings work like sports and stuff i don't know if that's a good idea or maybe we'll just make that like a weekly video like each week I'll, like every time a new msp comes out we'll continue to make the top 10 msp videos all right drop like subscribe and i'll see you guys tomorrow peace out